Here we are in Bertoya's studio. I'm Melissa, and here's one of my pieces, which is called a Katie did. Basically, the design came from studying actual Katie dids in nature and then doing some sort of anatomical drawings, which became etchings. In order to form this copper, I made it out of paper first. It lets me form the copper into um, a different way, and um, bending and forming and twisting and whatnot. But he's quite fun because he can he can be seen like this in the garden, or he could be standing up nice and tall. This is a, a bronze piece that I made, and it's either a bullfrog having um, a good day or a dragonfly having a bad day. And basically, it is um, made out of bronze. Uh, the dragonfly is made out of copper and bronze, but the frog itself is mostly bronze. This piece was made out of copper tubing, and I call it orbit of sight or love knot, and it's, and it's one continuous loop. It's actually quite fun when it's put onto level ground because you can kind of move in and out with the, with the movement of it. With some of my copper works, I really do enjoy to use sometimes recycled parts. Sometimes I find things at flea markets or I find them um, at scrap metal places. This particular piece was made, I had a very dear friend who I worked with for 17 years, Bartolomeo de Santos, and this is uh, my version of a Portuguese man-o-war jellyfish because it just reminded me, it's symbolic of, of Barto being Portuguese. This is a water strider that I'm in the process of working on, and his legs aren't quite finished yet. And there's the underneath of him. So these will be structurally made a little bit stronger. Okay, so I'm using an alloy called Fosom with the copper. So that just adds some structure to those legs to make them a little bit stronger for when I'm ready to finish them up. As I'm sort of forming the three dimension of the water strider from underneath. I started this piece a while ago and I titled it um, Marriage and I actually did an etching of a drawing of this particular piece. It is almost near to completion but basically everything will be spinning on, an, on this axis. This is my, my sandbox, which I love to work in. I can um, really form different copper shapes by using the sand. It allows me to sort of free form the shapes and, um, and work with them in a little bit more of a quiet and less abrasive. So forming this particular shape, this is the body, this is what's going to be the body of an alligator lizard. I'm basically just getting the overall, the overall form of the body and the head and the tail. 